Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will film a, a requested video uh, how I custom made or custom created my setup Sita palette or how would you say it in English. It looks like this and it, you have seen this a lot in my videos and uh, the color scheme is like this. This is very nice colors for me. These are something that I'm wearing constantly. Today I created this, this eye look that I'm wearing. You can use every color, layer them and they will look so beautiful. But the story behind this is actually quite embarrassing. It's not that I was so smart to create this. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. This is some, some video that I'm laughing because I remember my stepdaughter and I talked about it that if I would ever do this video, it will not be so glamorous. And I just created this out of nowhere. I'm actually... A, two years ago I was... or three, I started watching her three years ago. I was a big Jacqueline Hill fan. So she actually did this, which is... I'm, I'm not saying I'm a huge copycat, but these colors are my colors too. I'm more warm tone, but I love a little pop of color here and there, especially when the spring and summer comes. And oh, of course the cool tone transitions, you have a few here. And oranges, browns, reddish brown, all of the copper shades, so beautiful. Highlight shades you have here, all three of these, so you can have options. So when she so showed it in Snapchat, I fell in love with it and I knew I had many colors from that already. So it was much more easier to start building the same palette that, that she has. And uh, it really was because uh, this palette has so many... Uh, this palette has so many colors that I also love. I had half of them almost already. So I started collecting them and uh, I don't want to sound like a copy copycat like i said it's not about about copying jacqueline it's about wanting to have something that she said is so universal so easy to travel with and where you have everything you need in a palette and it looked like that so i wanted the same but uh long story short i will start now because I think it's going to be a long video because there are 35 shadows. I just swatched them in my hand and talk maybe a little about the color. But the first color is uh, Mac Nylon. Mac Nylon is very, very nice uh, brow bone highlighter. I have it on me today and uh, Everyone knows this color. It's very universal. It's so perfect for highlighting your inner corners. It will bright up your eye look. Of course, you can use this all over lid as well. But uh, nylon is definitely something I have worn. This is my second pan, actually. Next is Makeup Geek Rabunzel. More subtle version of the MAC nylon, I think. But this is the one that I'm grabbing constantly. It is not as intense. And for me, it is almost like my skin color, I, I would say. Uh, but that's what I have on my uh, this part, uh, inner parts of my eyes. And also hi I've highlighted my inner corners with this. This is the subtle, ver subtle highlighter. Next is Mirage by Makeup Geek. And... Uh, I would say this is the cleaner color. If you get a little too heavy-handed and blend too upwards, this is the perfect color to clean the edges a little and tone it down, like I did today. And sorry, my nails are hideous right now. I'm arranging my boys' birth birthdays. They are tomorrow, so I have this uh, food coloring and it's not coming off. I'm sorry. It's this very famous Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. Uh, it is perfect transition color. The first 
the first that you start with, I always use this, and this is the only one that I have big pan, actually. But uh, peach smoothie is definitely something I would recommend to everybody. It is, uh, I have heard that it really, uh, it really is suitable for uh, many, many, or even every skin tone as a transition. Oh, so beautiful. Next one is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I wanted to swatch it against Peach Smoothie. They are very good combination together. Usually I first go in with Peach Smoothie and afterwards with Creme Brulee to deepen the crease. Like many people does in YouTube that I have learned. And this really is a perfect combination. Creme Brulee is, I think, a re uh, dupe for Max Soft Brown if you don't want to uh, hunt the soft brown in Europe. If you live in Europe and you want the soft brown, I, I would suggest, 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 I don't know, I would recommend to buy the Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek because I have noticed they are very, very similar colors. Next is Soft Brown by MAC. As beautifully as it uh, works on the lid. But I like it because it, it is not powdery at all. It, it blends very easily. It is the perfect uh, brown shade. Everyday brown, soft brown uh, weren't the easiest color to get. But I am very, very happy I have it on my collection. And then uh, comes Frappe by Makeup Geek. Oh, so beautiful. I think this will be, will be the next color that, that I hit pan. Like you can see, very warm, very inviting color. So, so beautiful for uh, people who love warm eyeshadows and warm crease colors. Oh, so beautiful, wa warmish brown, light brown color. Oh, the one that uh, I was worried if I can have it because I heard it will stop or it is already stopped making uh, is a uh, MAC kit. This I was so happy to have. Oh, Mac, Mac Kit is good for transition as well. So nice because it because it's not too cool tone, but still it is a cool tone. So you have all mixtures in this palette. Related color to Ma Mac Kit, I think that you can use first Mac Kit and then follow with this. It's Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek. I am so happy I have all these colors. They, you can easily play with them and uh, have a nice time, actually. You can create endless looks with this, but this kit is also nice in the transition area. And if you will include this in your kit, if you are a makeup artist, uh, you have everything you need. So this could be a, a cool tone lovers transition color. It looks nice under the lash line and why not all over the lid. And now comes the MAC Saddle color that I was talking about with the soft brown. They are very nice together. Good transition color, I know, but this have, has so many transition colors because usually I just do transition colors. So I needed a palette that had different tones and different colors of uh, transition shades because usually I don't have time to fully glam so I just usually blend something in my crease and put lashes on and go but uh, so great combination soft brown and saddle layered together and now comes the first Anastasia Beverly Hills color which is fawn yes, 
But uh, this I have used in one of my favorite looks uh, where I put this Rapunzel to the, I would say, two-thirds of my eye, starting from the inner corner. And this fawn shade I have used in my outer corners and blended the edge nicely together. And it, it is so nice, a live-looking color. And uh, that, I, that look I have done very many times when I'm in a rush. But this is perfect. Perfect, perfect color. And then one of my all-time favorites is Makeup Geek Chica D. Beautiful summer transition shade. Uh, warms the crease like no other. I have this also today. Uh, and you cannot just go wrong with this. Look at it. It is so beautiful nice orange shade, light orange. Very many people can be intimidated by these colors, but trust me, it will look beautiful. And I wouldn't even say you have to go light-handed with this. Uh, I don't have to. I just normal and use it and it looks perfect. This next is Desert Sands. I will swatch it with Chica D so you can see, because I usually use them together. You can see this is Chickadee, this is Desert Sands. Sands is like Jacqueline Hill called it and very many people would say a pukey color, like baby puke, she said and I agree. But uh, Chickadee is, uh, it is just so good. And the last color from the second row is Mac Amber lights. Like you can see, it is so creamy color. Great mustardy gold, copper gold shades. Looks so beautiful, especially in green eyes. I think I have worn this so many, many times. It just complements green eyes very nicely. On to the third row. I'm trying to ma make a little quicker maybe now. Black Swiss chocolate. I know this will not swatch as well but as the Makeup Geek and Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows, but this is beautiful. This is something it looks that looks Beautiful with black eyeshadow, but this mixed with black eyeshadow all over the lid, nicely, nicely blended edges. It's, it's so beautiful. I have tried it. It will soften the black, and you have this Swiss chocolate in your transition area. It will warm it up, and it's so sexy and nice looking. I, I recommend trying it. Next is Mac, uh, red brick, beautiful. But this is also a little related color to the Morocco, Morocco by Makeup Geek, which I have in my other palette. It doesn't belong here because I don't use it as much because I have these. They are almost the same color. You cannot name a color more perfect than this. It is red brick, red brick color. So beautiful as light transition color when you ha want to uh, add warmth to your eye looks or something you just tap a hint to this and uh, blend the edges and you get this nice warmth uh, and you can use it alone on the outer corners of your eyes uh, or on the whole lid area it is so beautiful especially layered with poppy shade which comes next they two together layered are very perfect on the whole lid area and uh, this also acts as nice pop of color on your lower lash line. So, Red Brick by MAC. Next is Makeup Geek Poppy. This is one of my favorite shades to add warmth to eye looks like I did today. I don't know if you can see it. I have it uh, mixed in with very many colors, but I have it on my uh, crease area just lightly dusted. Uh, to blend the edges and soften the look a little. 
I will swatch them side by side with MAC Red Brick because they are very good together. So here is here is Red Brick and here is uh, Makeup Geek Poppy. This is MAC Red Brick Makeup Geek Poppy. Beautiful, beautiful colors and unique also, I would say. And next comes Anastasia Beverly Hills Henna. So, so pretty copper shade. Rusty reddish copper shade. Very pigmented, creamy, buttery shade. Next is MAC. This is MAC Coppery. This is beautiful in the summertime, all over the lid. You can use only this and blend it, buff it in, in the crease. Put a good amount and then buff it in the, in the crease and put nice lashes on and very beautiful nude lips or whatever. But this is beautiful just by itself. It really works. Doesn't need any transition colors at all. Moving to the second last from the third row. I have two rows left. Uh, it's Coco Berva Makeup Geek. I don't think this even needs in, an int introduction. The perfect uh, dark brown, but not too dark. It is a uh, very famous color from Makeup Geek. And uh, I, I use it very often. It looks nice on the crease and the whole lid area. It's beautiful lid, like buff it very close to the lash line and it looks beautiful. And something I have used with this color, I swatched them side by side, is Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge. Fudge shade is uh, beautiful all over the lid. You can uh, damp it to the lower lash line very closely as well, if you want more more darker brown. I would advise you to use this instead of Coco Bear. I use it, this actually much more than this now. I love fudge. Perfect brown. Not, not too cool. This is like middle tone brown. You can... Ne neutral. Very neutral brown. Oh, so then the second last row. I start with this beautiful foiled shadow by Makeup Geek. This is the first foiled. From them I have only three Makeup Geek foiled in, in here, but this is the first. It's Grandstand. It is, it is super creamy shadow, beautiful taupey, bronzy, a little... How do you, would you describe? But you can see it's so creamy. The foil shadows from Makeup Geek are so good. And even without Fix Plus they are working, but if you use it with wet brush, it's out of this world. Very wet look, looking lid. This I have used all over the lid with Coco Bear and uh, Beach Smoothie Creme Brulee as transition shades. And uh, it's just beautiful. Makeup Geek Vintage. So vintage I have today as my transition shade. I first used a uh, soft brown, then saddle, then vintage because I wanted vintage is nice because it has hints of purples in it. Because I used it, used purple eyeshadows today, uh, I wanted my crease to have a little of the similar tones in there. So it's perfect for that. And so next is Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. And also Anastasia Beverly Hills Aubergine, which is, I would describe as eggplant, if it's an English word, if I remember correctly, it's eggplant color. So this is vintage, 
Vintage, Cherry Cola and Aubergine by Anastasia Beverly Hills. These two are by Makeup Geek. And this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Aubergine. And you can see they will sweat together very nicely. They are perfect. They are the colors I have on my lid also today, all of them. These two layered, layered I have in my outer corners. And uh, this aubergine, aubergine uh, here looks very nice also to the lower lashes. When you put it, it will give you a nice, nice pop of something that people will see that it's not brown. It's something different and unique color. Then a little similar color is Burlesque by Makeup Geek. And next is Bitten by Makeup Geek. This was in some point a very, very popular shade. It is beautiful shade um, on the lower lash line and it also is a good transition shade, lightly used first, because you can go overboard. It's Americano by Makeup Geek. This is nice cool tone brown shade uh, with a hint of grey in it. I can see when I look at it now closely with a good lighting. It's beautiful in the outer corners of your eyes, also blending it to the uh, lower lash line. And then the last row is Cupcake by Makeup Geek. It's here. Cupcake. <clears throat> this is good transition shade. In the spring and summer time usually people start to use these kinds of color. It is different and very unique color. It's a little pink, but not too much. This would be also beautiful uh, on the whole lid area. And uh, with this color, this has the transition shade and this on the whole lid area, which is the next color, which is Macaroon by Anastasia Beverly Hills. but I hope you can see this is a cupcake this is macaroon and they look very good together and they are unique colors next is makeup geek Houdini which is also one of their foil shadows so beautiful color all over the lid with cocoa pear that I have noticed they to make a good combination. It is a perfect night out look, something very unique and different greenish uh, emerald, dark emerald color. Next is Makeup Geek Dragonfly, very very perfect for the lower lash line. Uh, I use this very many times on the lower lash line and it looks beautiful, a great pop of color. So then comes a foiled shadow from Makeup Geek. This is the last foiled. It's Jester. This is Dirty Martini by Makeup Geek. You are starting to build this look that I'm talking about when I use these three together. You put this as the transition shade and then deepen it up with Enchanted Forest, which is the last one and very, very beautiful color. In the swatch order, this is Chester, which I swatched first, then Dirty Martini and Enchanted Forest, which is the last from the palette. These two, three together are match made in heaven. You can probably imagine that. So these were the three, three last shades, like I said, with together they look amazing. And uh, I'm happy I got through this video. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, these colors really are something I would recommend. And I'm sorry to disappoint that I learned this color from someone else. But it can be very 
funny stories too, because you have no idea how much time and effort I ne needed at that point to get these colors. But uh, I really recommend all of these if you are a collector like I am, and if you want a palette which you, uh, with you can create endless looks. And uh, yes, I totally, totally recommend. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and uh, maybe learned something and uh, maybe got good swatches, I hope. And yes, I liked filming it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye!